Hey guys, welcome back to Smart Trader. This is Dias Paul, and thank you so much for all your love and all your support. If you're a new viewer, then watch the video. If you like it, then hit the subscribe button to be part of this group so that you can learn everything for free. And uh, in this particular video, we are going to see how we can pick a stock from these free scanners and try to book a profit around at least minimum of five percentage profit. Is it really possible? That is what we're going to see in this particular thing. So we will be using a technical indicator, a simple, very technical indicator, and no much of effort. So I will just show you. So you show you. So a lot of beginners can take advantage on this swing trade. So all you need to do is going to be very simple. So all you have to search is economic times. Once you go to economic times, you have an option called markets. In markets, just click on technicals part screener. Okay, so this screener is actually free. So these days I use uh, paid screeners. So I paid, uh, I pay money for these screeners to use all these tools. But those days I didn't have much money or much confidence to spend money on screeners. So therefore I used to always use this free screeners and I used to search those free screeners. So I know that our most of our viewers are students and a lot of people are learning people. So in, so in this learning curve, I'm sure not much people will invest money on screeners. So therefore, it is good way to utilize these screeners for learning purpose. So I'll be sharing a lot of this in just one video. So I'll be sharing a lot of uh, ideas like this so that a lot of people can learn a lot of things on free basis. Anyways, uh, let's use this free screener. screener. So you have something called, it will be like this. So click on technical screener and in technical screener, you have something called an indicator, MACD indicator, moving average, convergence and divergence. So over here you have two options one is crossed above signal and one is cross below signal so cross above signal is for buying remember this and cross below signal is for selling so just keep this in mind very simple now when i clicked on this i have a few options over here so these are the stocks we have low pain trend pnc etc so these are the stock which actually crossed now what actually cross for people who don't understand this technical tool let's just search Okay, so I've just entered this stock name here, Lopin. I just opened the chart of Lopin and Zeroda broker. So all I have to do is just put a one day candle over here, not one minute or five minutes because this is one day scanner. So in this one day scanner, you see this red line is called the signal line. If I click a default setting, so you see the signal line, this is MACD. So MACD crosses above the signal line. So that's what you saw here, MACD crossed above signal. So this black has to cross above the red. That's what the signal is saying over here. So it has automatically captured free screener. So it has captured it. So now you have to take a decision here. So how to take a decision with the help of MACD, I will tell you very important. So MACD will have something called zero line over here, something above and below. So if you have to buy, remember this, if you have to buy, always buy from the lower level. That means you need to get a signal, buy signal from the lower levels. See, this is a proper buy. See, black is going above this. So this is a proper buy and maybe a sell. This is a proper sell. Okay. The far away it is from the zero line, it is better. Okay. So far away, sell is better from top. Always buy from the down, sell from the top. Remember this rule for MACD, always buy from the down. How much down? So you see the center line from here below is your down. But sometimes you will get a signal just near zero line. If you are confused, you can just cross check the history of the stock. You see, these are the bigger low levels. Okay, these are the bigger low levels. So if you are getting before that, then you need to be a little bit, you know, careful. If you're getting more deeper signal from the lower levels, then you have, you should be more confident because whenever it goes above, see, for example, you took a position here by mistake. You took a position here with this signal by a technical error. Now later what happened, it went wrong, technicals went wrong, it went below, but later it has come up because whenever MACD goes up someday, you will be booking your profit. That's the reason I say try to buy from the lowest level. How to know the lowest level? See the past performance. So this is the lowest level. This is the less level. So this is medium. So somewhere getting in this medium level or close to medium level is good actually. So in this case, Lupin has given me buy above the zero line because I have zero confidence how much he can go further above and uh, later if he comes down then it will be a negative position for me so i will not buy here i will buy for a signal which is down same way you will try to check other stock if which has given buy or something so trend is there so you will see a stock trend so you will try to see whether this has given a signal again you see this one has given a signal in the top so it is clearly crossing above maybe it can go five five percent it can give you a profit of five percent or ten percent but 
no much guarantee what if it reverses down then it will come down in this manner okay because there is a journey of down also once a stock goes up in technicals it can come down also so how much is the down journey it's a huge risk here rather i will take a position in the lower level see if i have taken a position here uh, 461 uh, 4 5 is a 20 rupees profit let's say here only i booked my profit or maybe i took a position in this area 4 for 448 when it went to 500 i just booked here or maybe i got a signal here so i took a position 573 uh, let's say 30 rupees of some profit you'll book so maybe 600 something you booked your profit five percent i'm just giving you minimum five percent just like 0.3 scalping in swing five percent is what i'm talking is minimum amount the more you go the more risk you take so taking a signal from the below levels is better th than taking a signal which is above the zero so buying from the down selling from the top is recommended so on cnc you know we can only do buying that's the reason i'm talking only about buying in futures you can do selling and you can hold your position so these are the signals which you can consider for your swing trade okay now see all the stocks i'm getting above the zero line how to identify which one is in lower line so look at this macd this is positive it is changing it is negative so find macd which is a negative or signal line so macd this is macd so highest positive to highest negative so this is the negative stocks so i have a stock name which is esab i'm not much familiar about this stocks but i'm just giving an example okay see this is given from a negative value below the zero line if you see the past performance this stock had a bigger one here and most of the time this gets a small signal in these levels only and now again i got a signal so not much confident here because it's not too much away from zero because the more away it is more better because more like oversold it is so here i'm getting initially a buy and stock is going almost a sideways so i'm not much confident if i would have got at least halfway down or here if i'm getting a signal i would definitely go but as of today whatever the data is every day end of the day you can see so as per today or during the day also you can see so as of as per today the lowest value is only 10 so you cannot find any stock below this level as of now okay just a simple thought so every day you can come and check with the highest negative having 20 30 40 in that way or you can see the past performance see in this case it was 100 or maybe having 24 25 these are better areas rather than taking near something near zero is not good for you so keep this in mind and it is an easy way how you can scalp that money in a swing trade okay holding for few days it's not intraday it's holding for few days buying a cnc order and holding it for few days so this is one method which you can follow not just this method there are so many other methods which i will be sharing with you free methods i will try to identify so that students and other beginners can practice and start your journey like how i started long back long back so if you like such type of videos then hit that like button and share this video so thank you so much for watching see you soon in my next video till then take care bye bye